Big Z Reviews. Joker is the newest take on the classic DC and Batman character, uh, this time directed by Todd Phillips and starring Joaquin Phoenix. And it is a really excellent film. It's so awful, isn't it? For my whole life, I didn't know if I even really existed. But I do. And people are starting to notice. So there have been a lot of shenanigans with the release of this film, and the controversies about the content, and some, some of the violence in it and whatnot. And uh, to talk about my opinion on it, it, I do have to get a tiny bit spoilerish, but I'm going to do that at the end of the video. And until then, I'll try, I'll try to keep it completely free of spoilers. So um, if, if you're not familiar with the character of Joker, you know, this, he really does not have much of a backstory. You know, before he took up the makeup and took up the super villainy, you know, a couple of uh, uh, places, a couple of comics have, like, tried to uh, take on him, um, what might be his origin. But I think, you know, what people love about him is that you don't really know his origin. So I think a lot of people were a little worried when this movie was announced that it wouldn't really work or you wouldn't like it that much. But, I mean... This is an incredibly artistic film that is surprisingly uh, shot and filmed and, and made. Like I, like, I couldn't believe that, you know, they let him do this. But at the same time, I mean, I think I would love to see more comic book movies in this sort of vein. Because, I mean, this was filmed for, like, around $50 million, And the first weekend, it made, like, almost $200 million worldwide. So, like, almost they like, quadrupled this budget. Not, not if you take into account the marketing and whatnot, but I mean, if that's a, if it's it's not a quite as big of a release as like Aquaman and Suicide Squad, but it's bigger than Justice League, which is, which is insane. But I mean, those movies cost like 150, 200 million to make. So if you take more chances and with a with a movie in superhero world, but maybe a different take on it and don't spend as much, I would love to see more movies like that. So in Joker, um, Joaquin Phoenix plays Arthur Fleck. And he is, you know, a guy that's down on his luck. He has a lot, he has a mental illness. And he's taking meds for it, but he, you know, he has to go to a scheduled you know, therapy appointment with, and he has to, like, you know, he's, his job is he's like a street clown, like going to different businesses and like spinning signs for them. And they're going different things, you know, as a clown. And he thinks his life is not going well, and it just gets worse and worse. You know, because the city is kind of miserable right now. I love the setup for the film. It's like, in, in Gotham, is like, like the, everyone's striking and no one's picking up the trash. And they, they, they tell you a couple of mentions of, like, possible, like, super rats. And I was like, I kind of want to see a super rat at some point in this movie. But, you know, the the... The whole city is kind of like a brimming pot. Like, it's like ready to boil over. And he, Joker, may be the person that that starts that, that, that sets it off when he just kind of goes crazy a little bit. And Joaquin Phoenix as Arthur Fleck is fantastic. Like he really transformed his body and his actions into this person. And, I mean, it's... And also, it's so, it's, the way they film it, and, like, he's in these, his apartment and dancing in his underwear and doing all sorts of stuff, like, it's, it's so artistic, but also, it's creepy, and, like, you want to feel for him, and you do feel for him, and I think that's part of the reason that a lot of people have some problems with this movie, because Arthur Fleck is the hero of this movie. You know, this is uh, a movie about the creation of a supervillain without any presence of a superhero. So it creates a little odd little thing where, you know, there is, there's no one to say that, hey, what are you doing is not good. You shouldn't do that, you know? <laughs> and the way they design the Joker's laughter, that's kind of like, you know, the biggest thing that every Joker has kind of different laughs. And he does a thing like where it's like uncontrollable, like, <laughs> 
<laughs> like, 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 like it's hurting him, and it's it's horrible. But it's also like you feel for him. Like it's he even has this little card where he's having the laughing fit. He hand he'll hand it to people and say, you know, I can't control it. And it's like there's so many interesting takes on that. And I mean, it's it's kind of horrifying, but also it's really unique, and I really like it for the character. It's a really interesting idea for a Joker character. And you know, he his things get set off in his life when one of the other clowns decides to give him a gun after he's beat up by a bunch of kids, and he starts carrying around a gun and fantasizing about using it, and uh, eventually he gets a chance to do it. And that sets off a whole series of events that may turn him into the Joker. And it's funny, you know, there's some things that's tough to talk about with that with completely avoiding spoilers with this film. But you know, I like the idea that there are, you know, he is insane. So I mean, he is like, you know, he. I assume he might have like schizophrenia. Then I don't know if they ever really specifically say, but you know, he has delusions, and you see a couple times where he's having these delusions where it's like. It's almost plays like a dream sequence, but like he's imagined himself there, and you know you, you so like at certain points in the movie that you may think that things maybe aren't happening the way they're happening, and I think that like in the future there's gonna be a lot of great uh, YouTube videos about this movie about what's real and what's not real, and I think that you know that I think it's for me it's pretty obvious what's not real. Like, it may be a little less obvious what is real, but I think they're pretty clear that, you know, I, I think if, if you take, there's a chance that some some people may try to sell you this thing where, like, the whole movie is, like, in Arthur's mind. And I think that it's a possibility, but I think, you know, that's kind of a shitty movie then, you know, if everything is fake. I also think it's a problem then, because if he's not... If none of this happened, then he's not the Joker. And this isn't an origin movie for the Joker, essentially. You know, so it's just some crazy guy named Arthur Fleck that is a clown. You know, so I think that... It, some people will take it too far with what's all delusion. But it's funny, there are some things in the movie that I didn't like. Some characters that... Things happen, I'd be like, that doesn't really make sense. And then you learn that, oh, that's why it doesn't make sense. You know, and it's it's a really interesting thing that that take place in the movie, and I really like that. And it's it's a really it's a thrilling film too because, well, it, it feels weird because you're rooting for this guy, you like him even though he's kind of crazy, but you see him like it's, the portrayal of his madness is very interesting because he's trying to be a comedian and he's carrying around this notebook. And the things in it are so random. Like, you even have, like, pictures of, like, kind of, like, nude women that he's cut out from magazines. And, like, and he's flipping through it. And, like, you see that and they think that it's, that's not normal, you know. It's, I like they don't even, like, they don't take, like, make it too clear. They don't, like, make, hey, look at that, that's weird. But, like, you, as a viewer, you just notice it and it's like, oh, that is weird. And, you know, and he tells these jokes that, you know, they, they are... They aren't funny, but, like, they're awkward, and, and like, you kind of, as a, as a viewer, like, you almost kind of, you feel weird for laughing at stuff, because, like, you kind of do laugh when it's something weird or funny, but horrible, and, and it's also, too, it's so cool, like, when he's, he's, like, he watches other comedians, like, before he goes on, and, like, he's laughing at all the wrong parts, like, ha <laughs> Oh, okay. And, like, he's laughing at all the wrong... Like, not at the punchline. He's laughing at, like, ran, like the earlier parts of it. So he just doesn't get it. But just as... Not even as a comic book movie. It's as a movie. This is an excellent movie. And it might be a little challenging to viewers. But I loved it. And I hope, uh, you know, a lot of people, other, a lot of people see it. Even though... Like I said, it is violent. But it's not, like, hyper, like, cr like crazy violence. Like, I mean... Like, it, so many other movies have uh, so much violence that it's almost, it doesn't, it doesn't really feel quite real. But in this movie, the violence is very visceral and real. It's not like, it's not, it's not that gory. It, it really isn't gory at all, but it's just like how it's shot. It feels like, you know, he's, he's, when he murders people, he's like murdering them. Like, it feels very just like, blam, blam, blam. 
you know, he's not. It's an it's 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 an interesting I like feeling that when when he does, the you know, more more most violence is kind of glorified, you know, in movies, especially when it's a hero, you know, fighting bad guys. And this one, he's he's a bad guy killing other bad guys, kind of. But I think that that's I do have to get into a little bit in the spoilers. I think and talk about what my feelings are about some of the controversies with this film. And but you know, as as a whole in this film, I probably give like a nine point five out of ten. Like I really did enjoy it. I'm look, I'm looking forward to. It. I want to see it again, but I want to see how it holds up. The feeling that I wonder if if there are any more hints that stuff that may be not real. Or what, you know, I'm really interested to see that. But uh, for more into spoilers now, um, I think it is kind of problematic that the, you know, Arthur Fleck is the hero of this film. And every person that he kills has clearly wronged him. You know, there's, everyone he, he kills has wronged him in one way or another. And it's almost like it's justified. Like, as a viewer... I feel like they're trying to sell you this, like, okay, okay, this guy did this, so now he deserves to die. And as a viewer, it feels weird because you kind of agree with him. But then, the, but it's, but it's, that's why it gets problematic because if, of course, you know, the idea that anyone can watch a movie and be inspired to kill people is kind of ridiculous. Because, I mean, if they're crazy enough, I mean, there is maybe someone that will be inspired by this. But, I mean, there was, how many people were inspired by, like, The Catcher in the Rye or, like, have this random books or, like, they get an idea in their head and they're already, they're already mentally ill and that's something that inspires them. But I, I just, I don't like how, how he's the hero of this film. Like, if, it, or I, I wish there was some, at some point, he murdered someone that didn't deserve to be murdered. Like, for example, a Zazie Beats. Like, there's... This great stuff, and I, I am getting the full spoilers, but I won't, I won't talk too much about the stuff, but I think that her character was innocent. And there was a moment where I think if he could have killed them, like if he murdered this woman, I think that it would be horrible, but it would mean that, okay, we can't root for him now. He's a bad guy, and we can't root for him. He has murdered this girl. You know, but they don't do that. And then, too, I think that it's a mistake... With they bring in how they bring in uh, you know the Waynes the Wayne family, I mean yeah, this is funny. Um, my brother and I both kind of laughing when they murdered the Bru- uh, when they murdered the the Wayne parents again. Like, are there any other character that have been murdered as much as the Wayne parents? <laughs> I really I'm not sure. Pro- I don't think so. I mean you may count like the Groundhog Day style movies, but that's like the truly murder like and, and so many. So many times they've been murdered. But, um, you know, the idea that, you know, the Joker, his actions inspire someone to murder the Waynes. And if, I think, I, I like that, but I think I kind of wish that the, um, the, the father, the Wayne father, like, there's a lot of stuff with, with him that, again, spoilers, but that he might be his son, and there's a lot of stuff with that. But... I, I, you know, he's a douchebag to him. He's even like the the Wayne even even like punches Joker, and I like he so he deserves to be killed when you know. And I think that if instead, if he was nice to him, if like the the, the if he tried to help him out but said, you know, I'm not your father. You know, I'm your mother was insane. I'm so sorry, but I'm not. Can I can I get you a help? Can I call someone for you? Or, you know, if, if, if instead of being mean to him, he was nicer to him, and but then, it, and he showed more to be a good guy, even though he's rich, but then someone killed him because of the Joker. So that, like, so that his actions led to something horrible, you know? But, like, again, even with him, you're, you're rooting for, like, the first time ever you rooted for Batman's parents to be killed, you know? <laughs> and I, I think that's, that's the problem. And it's kind of funny, too. The, you think that the creators of this film would have been better prepared for how the film was taken. Because it is very clear that they were not trying to make, you know, a simple film. They were making a challenging film. A film that would, that would you know, cause controversy. It was very obvious. So I can't believe that WB didn't prepare Joaquin Phoenix and, uh, and Todd Phillips more. Get them ready for this kind of reaction. 
It's Todd Phillips especially been such an asshole with, with how he responded to stuff. And, and they were like, oh, we can't make funny movies anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> he is so stupid how he reacted to things. And I think a, a perfect way to respond to the criticism is, I mean, parts of this movie, they are are talking about, you know, how we treat mental illness and how it kind of led to to Arthur Fleck breaking. You know, if the, that he could have been caught early, if he could have been treated better, if he could have had better health care, mental health care, he might have all been avoided. And I think the perfect, rea the, the perfect reaction for him, like, to be criticized is to say that, well, I mean, I, my goal with this movie was to show, you know, what our problems in our world and that how, you know, we need to have better mental health issues, you know, and deal with, help people that are ill and not do do horrible things. You know, they, so it was so easy for him to put it on to, instead of being offended by people being offended by him, to put it on that, you know, what he was trying to do with this film and say he was trying to, you do something, but he didn't do that at all. It's just, it's so goofy. But at the same time, I do feel like a lot of the critics that were blasting it, they're definitely tr going for the clicks. You know, because this movie was so good, but then it also went down so low on Metacritic. I'm not Met, Met well, Metacritic and, you know, Rotten Tomatoes, that they're trying to make, be, be all, drive clicks to their sites, to their reviews. And if they're trying to cr create extra controversy, but at the same time, there is something to be. The film is controversial, and I, I, I still amazed that they weren't better prepared because they obviously made an amazing movie. And you think they would have realized what movie they made? But I mean, you know, again, as a whole, I I really love this film, and I would definitely recommend it. Like it's violent, but not like super violent. Like it's. I mean, it's not gory. I mean, I've seen so much other movies, so much more gore in other movies, but definitely some of the realest violence I've seen in the movie in a long time. But, uh, like I said, again, I give like a 9.5 out of 10. It might actually raise higher once I see it again and see how it holds up. But, uh, thanks for watching. Check out the video play it through my head and subscribe to me at Z over there. Thanks. This has been a Big Z Movie Review. Thanks for watching.